Hi, welcome to my how-to guide on how to remove and clean and refit the detergent drawer on a Zanuti Linda 300, Linda 100 or the Aquaphor range. So the Aquaphor range effect is all those that have a two drawer compartment. So if you have literally one compartment for your fabric softener and one for your main wash, that's the Aquaphor range. So we're going to focus on that. Right. So we'll locate our drawer at the top here. We'll pull it out. Then to remove, we've got this little push indicator here on the softener grate. So what we have to do is push to one side like that, then pull towards us, and there we go, we've pulled this out. Right, so there's a little side note to this, and it, there's a little when this is up, it's made for powder. When this is down, you can put liquid detergent in there. And we've got two markers, so 60ml or 120ml of liquid detergent. Of course, though, all liquid detergent should be dispensed in a drum, really. So here's the inside the, the detergent drawer. We need to remove all this uh, detergent, actually. There's no mould, actually, for a change. Uh, but there is, you still need to remove it. Uh, all this build detergent can cause unnecessary well, um, to be honest, it's the reason why mould actually grows in the first place. Oh, there's a little bit of mould right, right at the back, but it's actually growing on the detergent, so it's pretty much mould free detergent drill there. Right, so we've got a bucket of warm water here, and we've got a scourer. We've also got our toothbrush as well. Right. So what we want to do first is remove this softer grate. So we just simply lift that up out of the way. Then we're going to drop that in to soak. And we're also going to drop this in to soak as well. So we can either leave this to soak first while we're doing the tin draw, or we'll do this first. Uh, in this case, because there's no mould and it's pretty much mould resistant, we're going to clean the drawer first. If there's mould, you might want to soak it first, but even more so, you might want to use a little bit of bleach whilst doing it, um, and then therefore use gloves. But because we're, just, because we're using washing all liquid, we don't need to. So we've got our sponge scourer, and the first thing we're actually going to actually attempt is around here. So if we look in there, we've got built-up detergent inside the drawer there, where it's clearly missed. So we can use our scour it, sponge scour it first. We're going to use our toothbrush to clean here where we can't reach. We've even got uh, quite a large chunk of detergent now actually built up. And we even got to do under here as well. This is where the detergent drawer slides. Now, if the detergent allows to build up there, you might end up struggling to get the detergent drawer out and even possibly breaking it, trying to get it out to use. So, I'm going to keep this clean. I'm going to try and keep this... Uh, so, there's a channel here, which we can stick our brush in to try and clean, clean out. Um, but also, weirdly, how clever and genius is that? So, if you're mechanically minded, and you don't mind doing this, you, you can even flip this part here forward to get underneath it. So, to do that, we're going to get a flat-bladed screwdriver. So, we've got our flat-bladed screwdriver. Right, so to release this, what we're going to do is pull that forward. So we're going to use our flat bladed screwdriver. Pull against this tab here by the little catch. And then that hopefully should flick up, which it has. Then we simply lift this over like so. And look at that, we can gain access to all of that underneath there. So we're just going to use both our sponge and our brush to brush under there on any detergent and any build of the mould. 
make sure you do everywhere that you can see. Then we're going to close this up and it will clip back into place. We're going to continue with the rest of the uh, cleaning. Uh, inside the softener compartment here we're going to use our sponge and then we're going to also use our get in between each one of those drain holes to the front we're just going to get a brush underneath uh, there If we've got dirt on the front, just use the soft side of the sponge just to wipe over. And then we've got our softener. Great. Again, we're going to use our brush to get into each of these holes. Oh, so I don't build up there. Finally, rinse this off and you draw off with cold water. Right, so before we put it back in, we're going to get a towel. We're going to towel our softener grate. And then we're going to towel off our detergent drawer. We're going to put the fabric softener grate back in. So we're going to place these over those holes there. But only the front and the back holes are used. So now we're going back into the washing machine. Right, so to place back in, we need to line up this and this wing side here and here. Then push in. Now pull back out to make sure it stops, make sure it stops, and that's it, you're done. Final little thing we're just going to add to this, we're just going to wipe the front over with a towel and there we go. That is a how-to guide on how to clean the detergent drawer on a Zanussi Lindo 300, Lindo 100 or an Aquafull range washing machine from Zanussi. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you found this video helpful to do on your own machine at home. Thank you and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.